Okay, we got Mike from Boston with a question for you. Mike, you're on with Chris Masters. Hey, good morning, everybody. And Chris, best of luck. I'll ask, I'll ask this question quickly, and I'll take your answer off air. Uh, I'm just kind of curious as to the wrestler's insight in terms of the creative process and character development, especially whereas you're in between companies. When you meet with, whether it be indies or, you know, hypothetically we'll throw TNA out there, does it start from square one? Do you get to go in with any type of negotiation or retention as to... You know, some of the pieces you've developed, for instance, the masterpiece name of the master lock, or is that property of WWE, or do you get to re independently retain that? So I'll listen to your answer off air, and Chris, best of luck again. Well, you know, the name is definitely uh, intellectual property, but, um, you know, I'm figuring there's obviously uh, certain ways around that. I mean, I'm hoping I can use Masterpiece Theater, to, at least for YouTube, that is. But, uh, uh, yeah, I don't I mean, you know, if I, if I was to go any uh, to work for any other television program, you you know, I wouldn't be able to use the masterpiece Chris Masters. So, um, you know, I'm sure it would have to be, you know, that would be it's usually in the wrestling business. It's like a collaboration uh, of sort. I mean, a lot of uh, over the last few years, what I've noticed a lot in WWE is a lot of people just being discouraged to um, actually pitch ideas because. It's very, very few and far between that, you know, you actually get them, uh, to actually go with anything, uh, that you pitch. And, you know, that's not, you know, obviously everybody doesn't pitch great ideas, but, um, you know, it just kind of got to a point where you kind of figure they have their mindset on something. Or actually the impression a lot of the time is that, you know, they want, if you came up with an idea, you know, you'd have to find to figure out a way to sell the fact that the writers came up with it and not you. Otherwise, they weren't going to want to use it because they don't want to give you credit for the idea. So, you know, th those were kind of some of the things going on in terms of creative and whatnot. And, you know, I always kind of figured through my experience that, uh, you know, I've never I really pitched a lot of ideas. I mean, I pitched a few towards the end just because, you know, they had me dinner on Superstars so long. But, um, you know, I, I just kind of noticed that, like, from the first time I uh, debuted, even up till this time, it's like, uh, you know, when I first debuted, they had everything set for me because they were fired up and they were, they had an idea and they wanted to push me. So everything was kind of uh, laid out for me. And, you know, they, it seems like they have more of the habit of doing that. You know, like Jack Swagger has never written a storyline for himself or whatnot, but, uh, you know, he stays in the mix. So, you know, I don't know how much, how beneficial or, you know, if, I mean, I'm sure every once in a while you can pitch an idea or something can come across and it can work out great, but uh, it doesn't happen very often.